Well, hello there and welcome. My name is El Skipper and today I'm going to show you how to build your first flying vehicle. So we are starting off when, where we left off with our first mining vehicle. And the premise of flying vehicle is very, very easy. You basically add thrusters to anything and this anything will probably fly. So we are now right now adding one big thruster just to make us float a bit and also a directional thruster. So you have to remember that you have a few directions. So you want to go up, you don't you want to go left, right, forward and backward. On the planets you don't actually need a thruster that is that will thrust you downwards because the gravity will pull you and when you press C which will make you go down will simply result in stopping your up engine working. So it is a very simple thing. As you can see, I forgot about removing some wheels, but we have a working vehicle. So, with our working vehicle, what do we need to remember? We need to remember to add maybe a bit more gyroscopes. Also, it always depends on your weight, how many gyroscopes do you need. But the good rule of thumb, I feel like at le it's at least two gyroscopes per your small craft. Like, two is a bare minimum, that's what I say. Uh, we are making actually a flying and like all utility and mining ship so we if you want to build a mining ship and in the case of this one you have drills uh, facing forward you need to add some thrusters that will move you backwards because when you tilt you will go down when you don't have enough thrust you would simply go down and you cannot drill so as you can see, I, I did just the thing I, that I said and I added some more thrusters that will move us backward. So when we are tilting, we can easily mine. Also, the important thing that I don't know if I forgot to mention is to set your hinge to lock when you are when you set your angle on your hinge because it will make it easier for you to drill, especially on this type of a craft. I even wouldn't recommend to put a hinge. If you want a flying vehicle, you don't even need a hinge in my opinion. The one thing that is also important to remember is our energy. As you can see, we are currently topping over 100 energy. When we are adding, we are trying to move upwards and forwards and a few different directions will make our energy topped out at 100%. What does it mean? It means that we don't have more, any more energy and some of our thrusters won't work so it is important to, to not exceed that capacity so if you if you have this problem just add some more batteries maybe add a reactor but mostly batteries they are the easier option and cheaper and it will make your life much much easier and it will it, it will just be better just, just trust me you don't want to have over 100 Well, it's a flying vehicle, we probably need a landing gear. The good thing to do with it is to create a group and switch definitely switch off the auto lock. It is mostly useless. In rare cases, when you try to pick something up, it might become useful, but mostly it will drive you mad, to be honest. So you can simply attach it to your, the, your station or on the ground and you have a working flying vehicle. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.